In this video, we are going to discussing about how we managing the word revenue in Oro 13. The word revenue is an advance payment received by the company and it is not yet as revenues so cannot be reported on the income status or we can say payment in advance recorded on the receipts balance sheet as a liability account and until either the receiver have been rendered or the product have been delivered for example our we are giving a warranty for a 10 year or service for 5 year like that so let's take a look on it so we are going to enter to our accounting module and first of all there is a change we don't want to configure or enable the option inside the settings that are already fixed and we have firstly we have to create a deferred revenue model inside the settings notice that we have to create a deferred revenue model so inside of the configuration tab we can see the deferred revenue under the asset model by clicking this we can see the already created one or we can create a new one so Usually we can give the gate name as the two and the number of recognition is means the duration of the service or the depreciation we are giving so change it as done or as you want and this is the parameters that which way you selecting and the product template temporaries it's uh, depends on the fiscal year and we can see the revenue account and the deferred revenue account and the analysis and analytical account here so we can select a revenue account here and uh, inside the revenue account you can see the type is an income the revenue account is an income and the deferred revenue account I selected the deferred revenue account and you can create a new one on the deferred revenue account for your understanding give the code and the name one and the uh, uh, deferred revenue account is in current liabilities and just save this and then choose the journals always miscellaneous and then you can save this model and then after it you can go to the of account we created so inside of the configuration there is a chart of accounts inside the chart of account we can see our uh, deferred revenue account we created deferred revenue SEC one and let's change it the automated deferred revenue to the create and validate and then you can see the Fill for the deferred revenue model and select the deferred revenue we have created model we created and save this chart of account to and then you can go to the create a new product for our deferred revenue our warranty or service product set the vendor we can create the product so we can create your surname as warranty test 
and uh, product type is in service because it's a service product and we can give the sale price as thousand for the year and inside the accounting tab inside the receivable or the income account you have to select the uh, newly created uh, deferred revenue account so we created account we selected here and save the product and then come to the overview and create a new invoice for it and selecting a customer then any product it's corner desk and we are adding our warranty that's our warranty test we can see the account is here and then we can post this and then after the posting we can go to the accounting tab and the uh, deferred revenue we can see a new the revenue we created here and by drag down here we can see the entries of the advance payment we can see it the amount is split to 1000 by 10 it's 100 100 rupees is divided to the 10 years and you can see the related sale here inside the related sale tab here is the related sale we created and here when we created any channel entries so or we posted the entries we can see that entries inside the posted entries here and this is what the deferred revenue and how we managing the deferred revenue in auto 13 and thanks for watching this video if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odoo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info@cybrosis.com